Hello kids! Are you ready in our new lesson for today? So in this video, we're going to learn about magnetic force. This is found in quarter 3, module 2. And it is also found in the most essential learning competency in science 4. So are you ready kids to know what is a magnetic force? Or what are magnets? Okay, very good. At the end of this lesson, we are expected to The first one is to identify the different types of magnets The second, we're going to identify objects attracted by magnets And last, we're going to describe the force exerted by magnets Okay? So these are the objectives in this video When we were young so many of us experienced to play a toy car or an airplane using a remote control. But have you ever wondered what is inside and how it works? So aside from the battery that you can find below the toy car or the airplane, there is also a magnet inside that helps them to work and function effectively. So meron daw magnet sa loob na yan ay tumutulong para ang mga bagay na yung mga toy car, ang mga airplane, o kaya naman mga robot ay nagpapagalaw sa kanila. So, what is meant by magnetism? Do you know what is magnetism? So, this is the force that acts on objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt to make them move. So, yun ay makikita sa mga, sa mga toy cars, sa mga nilalaro natin para sila ay gumalaw. Nagawa yan sa nickel, iron, and cobalt. So that, mayroon attraction between the magnet at saka yung mga bagay-bagay. Para dumikit o kaya naman mapagalaw niya ang isang bagay. So, there are some of magnets. So, the first one, we have rectangular magnet. And the next, we have the bar magnet. And third, we have the ring magnet. And last, we have the horseshoe magnet. So, we, we have all four types of magnet that mostly we use in the science experiments or in our science lesson. So in this one, so magnets have an invisible magnetic field. So only objects made of iron, cobalt, and nickel will be attracted to magnets. May mga bagay kasi na kahit gawa sila sa metal, pero wala silang iron, cobalt, and nickel, ay hindi sila ma-attract ng magnet. So there are also materials that are non-metals that are not attracted to magnets such as the rubber, the plastic, and the wood. So, when the poles of two magnets are placed near each other, they have a force that will either pull them together or push them apart. The push and pull of a magnet is called magnetic force. So, every magnet, meron dalawang pole yan. So, we have the south pole and the north pole. So, opposite poles will attract. So, kapag pinaglapin mo ang North Pole at saka South Pole, yan ay magdidikit. Yan ay mag-attract sa, sa bawat isa. So, if the poles of a magnet are different and placed near each other, then they will be pulled together or will attract each other. Kagaya ng, yan yung nasa picture, yung North at saka South Pole. Kapag parehong pole ang ididikit mo, there is no attraction or there is no magnetism. So, like poles repel. So, if the poles of a magnet are the same and placed near each other, then they will be pushed away or will repel each other. Walang attraction na magaganap dyan. Wala kang mararamdaman na ay magpupul sa kanila. So, they will repel each other. So, kapag pinagdikit mo ang parehong north at saka north, Walang attraction. Kapag south and south, walang attraction. So, like poles will repel and unlike poles will attract to each other. So, tingnan ang larawan. 
So in the picture, if the force of attraction of a magnet is greater at its poles than in the middle. So kapag daw itututok mo yung, yung dulo ng isang pole, mas malakas ang attraction nun kaysa sa middle ng magnet. So mostly, doon sa dulo ng isang magnet, doon lahat didikit ang mga bagay na gawa sa iron, sa nickel, at saka sa cobalt. So, we're going to have an activity. So, we're, you're going to identify if these things are attracted to the magnet. So, our materials will be magnet, metal, spoon, plastic ball, a paper, a paper clip, a coin, leaf, key, nail, and pencil. So, dyan daw ninyo makikita kung ah, alin dyan sa mga bagay na yan ang ma-attract sa magnet. Are you ready, kids? Okay, let's have an activity. Listen and watch carefully to the video. Hello, kids! Are you ready for our activity for today? So this time, we're going to learn if all of the things around us will be attracted to magnet. So, in our activity, we're going to need the magnet. Tingnan natin kung ang, ang magnet na to ay ma-attract sa lahat ng bagay na nakikita natin sa ating paligid. And, to test it, we're going to need some materials that we will do in our experiments. So, we need a metal spoon, a paper, Key, ball, a leaf, a pencil, a coin, then a paper clip. So in this activity, we're going to see if all of the things in this table will be attracted to the magnet. So, can you identify whether these materials will be attracted? Okay. Kapag nakita nyo dumikit ang isang bagay dito sa magnet na ito, ibig sabihin ay na-attract siya sa ating magnet. They are made out of cobalt, nickel, or iron. Pero kapag hindi naman, Kapag hindi dumikit o oh, hindi kapag hindi dumikit ang paper na ito ay, ibig sabihin ay gawa sila sa rubber o kaya naman sa kahoy o kaya sa plastic. Okay? So we're going to test it. We're going to discover it if these things will be attracted. So the first material is the paper clip. Okay? O tignan nyo kids. Kapag gumikit ang paper clip na ito, ibig sabihin na attract siya. And the paper. Ulitin natin. Ang papel. na ba? Next one, we'll have the plastic one. na ba siya? Okay. Dumikit ba ang ball dito sa magnet? How about the metal spoon? Dumikit ba? And we have also the leaf. Ulitin natin. Ulit. Let's repeat it again. Okay, how about the key? Okay, next one, the coin. And last, the pencil. Okay. 
Okay. So, napansin nyo, kids, kung ano, alin sa mga bagay doon ang dumikit at hindi. Kung anong object ang natrap dito sa magnet at hindi naman natrap. So, don't forget that um, kahit saan, kahit ano saan dito, sa either north or south pole, kapag ayaw ng isang bagay na matrap sa isang Kapag, ayon, kapag ang bagay ay hindi gawa sa nickel, cobalt, o kaya naman sa iron, hindi siya maatrap sa magnet. Yan yan siya ko. Okay? So, are you ready to answer your activity on your answer sheet? Okay, very good. So, ayan kids, napanood nyo na lang yung video. Ngayon naman, tignan natin kung tama ang inyong magiging sagot. So, while ago, I presented some materials that are attracted to magnet and there are also materials that are not attracted to magnet. Okay, so we have here, you're going to fill up the yes or no. So, the materials are the materials shown in the other video. The first one, the metal spoon. Is this attracted to magnet or not attracted? Okay, it's yes. How about plastic cup? No. Paper? Our answer is no. The paper clip? Of course, yes. To make it doon sa magnet. So it is yes. The coin? Of course, yes. The leaf was not attracted to mark to the magnet. The key. Yes. Dumikit doon sa magnet. And last, the pencil. Hindi. Kasi pencils are made out of food. So, dito pa lang sa ating mga ma halimbawa, makikita ninyo kung ano doon ang dumikit sa ating magnet. So, all the materials that are made of plastic, rubber, and the wood will not attract to magnet. So, there are also materials that are attracted to magnet. So, meaning to say, they are made out of cobalt, nickel, and iron. Okay? So, we have here the things that were attracted to the magnet. So, we have here the metal spoon, the coin, the paper clip, and the key. So, these are only some examples of materials that are made of cobalt, iron, and nickel. They were attracted to the magnet. And, from our activity while ago, there are also some materials that were not attracted to magnet, like the plastic ball, the paper, the leaf, and the pencil. So, ito naman na yung mga bagay na hindi na-attract sa magnet. Because some of these are made out of plastic and wood. So, always remember kids that when the force exerted by a magnet is either push or pull, we call it as magnetic force. Kasi try nyo sa try ninyo dyan sa inyong bahay. Pagdikitin ninyo ang dalawang magnet, yung dalawang magkaibang poles, the north poles and south poles, para ramdaman nyo yung, pag, yung paghila ng bawat isa. So, when magnets have two poles, the north pole and south pole. So, ilangin isipin, ng magnet ay meron dalawang pole. Yun yung North Pole. We call, we call it as the North Pole and the South Pole. So, when the poles of two magnets place near each other, it has a force that will pull them together or push them apart. When the same poles of two magnets place near each other, they repel but when the opposite poles place near each other, 
they attract or pull each other together. So, same poles repel, opposite poles will gonna attract to each other. So, the push and pull of a magnet, we call it as magnetism. Para mas maintindihan nyo kids, kapag meron kayong magnet dyan sa inyong bahay, alamin ninyo yung mga bagay na na-attract dyan, na-attract sa magnet. Pakiramdaman ninyo yung push and pull of the magnet. Okay? So, we're going to have a short quiz from our lesson. So, you're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. Which of the following cannot be attracted by magnets? A. Cobalt B. Gold C. Iron D. Nickel Just write the letter and afterwards we're going to check your paper. And number 2 Earth is considered as a giant magnet. How is Earth's magnetic field similar to that of a magnet? Earth is considered as a giant magnet. How is Earth's magnetic field similar to that of a magnet? A. It is made in Earth's core. B. It is shaped like a horseshoe. C. It has north and south poles. D. It is hundreds of kilometers long. Number 3. What is the area around a magnet where a magnetic force is? Found. What is the area around a magnet where a magnetic force is found? A. North Pole B. South Pole C. Magnetic Field D. Magnetic Axis Number 4 Which of the, follow which of the following pairs refer to magnetic poles? Which of the following pairs refer to a magnetic poles? A. Is and West B. North and West C. North and South D. East and South And last When the same poles of two magnets whether North or and South are placed to each other, they blank When the same poles of two magnets whether North and South are placed to each other, they blank a. Do not move B. Pull each other C. Touch each other D. Are not attracted to each other Okay So we're going to answer your quiz Are you ready kids? Okay, look at your answers if you got the correct answer So in number one So you'll you're going just you're just going to choose the letter of the correct answer. So number one, our answer there is gold. So gold are not attracted by magnets. And number two, how is Earth's magnetic field similar to that of a magnet? It has the north and south poles. If you look at the globe we can see the the north and south poles and number three what is the area around a magnet where a magnetic force is found so your answer will be we call it as magnetic field okay and number four which of the following pairs refer to magnetic poles it is the north and south and Last, when the same poles of two magnets, whether north and south, are placed to each other, they blank. So, kapag daw pinagdikit yung ang parehong poles ng north, parehong north, at saka parehong south, anong mangyari sa kanila? So, they are not attracted to each other or they will repel to each other. So, that is our video, kids. Hoping you have learned something about our video. Till next time again. Thank you.